Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to this week's Abacus Next Free Training Tuesdays webinar. This week, we're going to be focusing on answering questions submitted by you prior to this session. This is an amicus attorney, Ask Us Anything session. My name is Darren Juby, and I'm a product trainer here at Abacus Next, and of course, my focal point is the amicus attorney product line. Now, as I did mention earlier here, we are going to be answering questions that were submitted by you prior to today's session. Of course, please do feel free to submit your questions if you have any during this session via the question feature here in GoToMeeting. And time permitting, we will attempt to discuss and answer those as we go along as well. And as always, please be sure to include your email address along with your question so that if time does not permit us to do so during our session today, we may follow up with you afterwards to provide you with the information that you are seeking. So now, without further ado, let us begin taking a look at some of the questions that were submitted prior to today's Ask Us Anything session. Now, the first batch of questions that I have were submitted by Carly Hannah, and she has a few questions here that I'm going to go through and try to answer and demonstrate where applicable. And Carly, just so you know as well, I will follow up with you afterwards to provide you with these answers as well uh, through email. So Carly's first question is, it was stated in another Amicus webinar that the newest Amicus attorney update will include a click to pay link within the invoice email that is sent to clients. Is this true? And what is the ETA for this update? Well, Carly, in regards to this first question of yours, yes, that is indeed true. The click to pay link will be available or will be sent along in the email that goes uh, out to the client that includes their invoice or their bill, if you will, attached to the email. And there will be a click to pay link that they can click on and proceed to make the payment. Now, this will be included in the 20.4 update, and the ETA for that update is, from what I have been told by the product management team, within the next few weeks. Uh, if you wanted to, you could reach out to our technical support team and have your firm be included in the soft release, and that goes to all of you out there in our webinar here today as well. If you guys want to try the 20.4 update before it is uh, made available to the general public, you could be included in the soft release. Like I said, just reach out to our technical support team and you could get that taken care of. Uh, Alex asks uh, here, he's just got a quick question. How do you submit questions outside of the webinar? You could send those uh, if it was prior to our webinar, for instance, or if you just needed to reach out to us in any fashion, you can get us at training at abacusnext.com. Okay, so moving along to Carly's second question here, she asks, is there a means to automatically charge a credit card on file at 120 days past due? Well, you could do so during the billing process itself, but not afterwards on an outstanding bill per se. So you could include, and let me show you here on the file itself, so if we go to the files module over here on the billing side of Amicus Attorney, I'll use my Bailey Rekipling file here as an example. So if I open up this particular file, if I now go down to admin here in the control panel on the file details dialog, and I select bill settings like so, you will see that there's an option here to pay new charges at billing. And you'll see that one of the options here that you can check off is use credit card or ACH. So if I was to check off this particular option here, then when I generate a bill for this file, if I've got a credit card or ACH on file for this particular client and their file, then we would automatically be able to make that payment at that time. Outside of that, though, there is no way to automatically set amicus attorney to charge the credit card at, a, at an interval such as that 120 days past due. Now, one thing I do want to mention to you, though, is that with the 20.4 release that is coming soon, and perhaps if you're one of the firms that is uh, being included in the soft release, then what you can do is you guys can actually send out a payment request, which will include the pay now link.
And to do that, when you're actually printing and posting your finalized bills, you will be prompted, and again, this is in the 20.4 update that is forthcoming, but you will be prompted with a list of the finalized bills, and there will be an option to send the email and include a payment request. Now, you can click on the checkbox to for the Pay Now Request icon for your bills, and that will be included in the email that is sent to them. Now, if you wanted to send a reminder afterwards, then what you would be able to do within the billing module, and again, folks, this will be in the 20.4 update that is forthcoming, we would be able to go in here and select one of these bills, for instance, and if we go to the Actions menu, there will be a new option on the Actions menu to resend a payment request. So if we got to that point, Carly, where it was 120 days past due, you've already sent a payment request at one point to the client when you sent the bill originally, you'd simply be able to select any of the bills that are in that particular scenario and then go to the Actions menu. And like I said, there will be a new option added to this menu called Resend Payment Request. When you click on that, you'll get a prompt. You simply click Yes to confirm that you're resending the Pay Now request. And at that point, a new email will be generated and sent to each one of those clients that you've respectively selected for that purpose. Now, the next question Carly had is, is there a plan to add an alert to process no further work if a client is delinquent more than X amount of dollars? And she put the value to be determined in file and firm settings. Well, we do have alerts that come up in your today's billing reminders. So for instance, if we look here in the dailies, if we were to go to today's billing reminders, those type of alerts would indeed show up in this particular area. And I'll show you on the file where you can configure those alerts. Now, the one caveat that I want to add to, to add a little bit of levity to Carly's question here is the alert is really a warning. And it, like I said, it will show up in the billing dailies to the responsible lawyer 